At Tech Team, we make several different types of fittings and brackets that attach to bed frames. Therefore, before we get into the specifics regarding the particular part or bracket we're going to be referencing here, we think it's important that we spend about two and a half minutes showing you all the details of a bed frame. Our objective is to give you enough information and details about the mechanics and geometry of a bed frame so that when you go to buy the part that you want to attach to your bed frame and when you actually get that part whether it be a glide like this, a caster, a riser, a bracket for fixing a headboard, a footboard, etc. it'll make it easier to make that decision correctly. Here we have your pretty much typical everyday garden variety metal bed frame. I say typical simply because not all of them are alike. They may look alike, but there are usually some differences. I say this because they are probably made by dozens, if not hundreds, of manufacturers in Asia and China. Due to raw material differences, uh, slight design differences, ability to make different finishes, etc., etc., you can pretty much count on them being a little bit different. The only thing you can be 100% sure of is that they are all made to fit your standard king, queen, double, or twin box frame or mattress. Almost all of these metal bed frames are about 70 inches long, even though your standard king, queen, double mattress is a full 80 inches long. That means your box frame and mattress is going to overhang this end of the bed by about 9 to 10 inches. All of the frames also have two ends. One plain end like this that just shows a uh, angular piece of steel. Then there's another end just like this that has appropriate holes, slots, etc. so that you can attach a headboard or a footboard. Typically you're going to uh, attach your headboard to this end but when you get to the other end you find out that A it's not long enough and B there's no fitting so that you can attach the footboard. Well, the simple solution is something like this, which is Tech Team's number 712 footboard or headboard extension. Here we have a very typical headboard that we want to fit to our bed frame. And people who make headboards have no idea what type of bed frame you're going to match it up to because the bed frames aren't 100% standard and of course the headboards or footboards are not 100% standard therefore they take their best guess. Fortunately the situation is not hopeless. All you need to get the headboard to make up to the frame is the correct interface or bracket. Tech Team makes several different types of brackets for this particular purpose. What we have in front of us here is our number 913 interface or headboard or footboard adapter bracket set and this will do what we need to fit the holes on the end of the, um, the bed frame and also to make that match up so we can make it up to the holes that are in the, uh, the headboard. First thing we want to do is get in here with our bracket and then we have the, uh, the headboard up here close so we can see where the holes in the headboard are, we can see where the holes or slots in the bracket on the end of the bed frame are. Now, we want to match this up so that we have the, uh, the holes or slots in the bracket matching up with holes or slots in the, uh, the bracket on the bed frame. And then also, pull this way a little bit here, matching up right here with the holes or slots that are in the headboard. The set comes with both long and short screws. The short screws are in case you need to make a metal to metal connection between the bracket plate and the bracket on the end of the, the bed frame. The long screws okay, are for when you have to attach the interface bracket to the headboard. So conceivably what you can end up with in one situation is attaching the interface bracket 
to the end of the headboard right here. You can see that goes this way, goes out, and we can move that up and down, okay, with these different holes, and then we can set it up because it slides back and forth. There's slots, so we can align perfectly with one or both of these holes that are in a headboard or footboard. Now the key here is to just loosely connect the uh, bracket to either the headboard and or to the bracket on the end of the bed frame. Because if, once you attach it loosely, now you have the option to move things back and forth and up and down. And don't forget, you still have to do the other side, so you don't want this to be tightened up too soon. You can see we didn't have that exactly right, so I spun this thing around so that now it makes up to this hole in the, um, in the headboard and we can take our shorter screw, put it right through here, and now it makes up to the bracket on the end of the frame. Once again, hand tight but loose so things move because we're going to have to work on the other side. We've got the other bracket made up loosely already. So now we want to work this around so that we get it set so that we have slots aligning so we can actually fix the, uh, the bracket to the bed frame and also to the headboard. Okay, now we've got a bracket in place and we've done it loosely at first. This way we can move it back and forth, up and down, and, or actually move the headboard over one way or the other so that it fits something better. But you get the general idea. It's in loose. Next step is to get this exactly where we want it and tighten it up. And for that, we're going to have to hold back on the nut and use a number two Phillips screwdriver. We don't have a wrench handy, so we're just going to use a uh, pair of pliers like this. It doesn't take much to hold back on a nut. Let me take our number two Phillips screwdriver and just turn it clockwise like this, pull this thing in nice and snug. Now we repeat the process on the other one. And now our headboard is secured to our bed frame. Now we repeat the process on the other one, tighten that guy down, and what we've done is We've taken a headboard that didn't fit the frame, we used our adapter plate, and now everything fits perfectly, and your headboard's gonna stay right where you want it. Just a couple of pointers here. As you can see, we have our screw heads on the other side of the headboard. That makes it a nice, flush fit on this side. Then on this side, we see that the threaded end of the screw is sticking through. Now, if you're gonna put a box spring in here, it may be better to put the head of the screw on this side so that the threaded end projects the other way. However, you need to pay attention because it's entirely possible that if you do that and you want to lift your headboard up a little bit, now you're going to have a little bit of a conflict. So you really have to pay attention and take this step by step and don't tighten anything up until you have everything exactly where you want it.